A comment is any text that you add to your code that is ignored by the compiler. And Java comments are typically used to describe the surrounding code. And there are three types of comments in Java. There's the single line comment, which starts with two forward slashes, a block style comment that spans multiple lines and it begins with a forward slash asterisk and ends with an asterisk forward slash. And then there's also the Java doc style comment, which is very similar to the block style comment, but it starts with the forward slash and two asterisks and ends with the asterisk slash. Let's compare the differences between them in an example. So here we have a class called comments demo and it's just a very basic hello world program. The main method only prints out hello world to the screen. And we're going to add some comments to it. We can add single line comments this way. We can add them on their own line by saying this is a demo of using comments. And if I run the program that comment is completely ignored by the compiler and it only prints out hello world. And down here I could say print out hello world to describe the line of code right below it. And at the end I could say end of program and notice that when I run the program again I still get the exact same output because the comments are ignored. Comments are usually used to describe the code surrounding it like we're doing right here, print out hello world to the screen. And they could also be used to disable code. For example, if I had multiple hello world lines of code, this will print out hello world three times. But I could always stick two forward slashes in front of any of these lines of code and click run. And now I only get hello world twice. It'll turn this entire statement into a comment and the compiler will ignore it. In Eclipse, you can highlight multiple lines of code and do a control forward slash on Windows or command the forward slash on MacBook and it'll comment out every line of code you have selected and then control forward slash again will uncomment it. You can also put single line comments at the end of any Java statement. I could say the class header, main method, Java statement, end of main, and end of class. You can't, however, put a Java single line comment in the beginning of a Java statement. I can't just say comment right here because since everything at the right hand side of the two forward slashes is ignored by the compiler, my rest of my statement gets commented out as well. So I only get two hello worlds printing to the screen rather than three. So now let's talk about block style comments. So I'm going to erase this. And a block style comment spans multiple lines. Although you could span multiple lines doing something like this. Just add another single line comment below it. Now let's try some block style comments. So I'm going to actually erase this and add a block style comment. So it's a forward slash, one asterisk, and then as soon as you press enter, watch what happens. In Eclipse, it automatically closes the comment for you. And it even adds this little center asterisk, which if you press enter a few times, it'll keep adding them. And that's just there for clarity. And it's, it's optional, but Eclipse likes to add it in there. And you can type whatever you want as long as it's within the forward slash asterisk and within the asterisk forward slash at the end. This is a block style comment. You can place these block style comments pretty much anywhere that you want. You can place one above the main method, main method. And you can place them at the end of a Java statement, Java statement. And they're also all ignored by the compiler and we're getting three hello worlds. But the nice thing about block style comments that you can't do with a single line comment is that you can place them before a statement. I can type right there slash asterisk and then type some comment and end it and now it'll still print out hello world because with the block style comment it has an ending tag which the single line comments it didn't know when to end it just ended at the end of the line so now I can end the comment with this asterisk slash and have a comment prefixing in the Java statement 
The next style comment is the Java doc style comment, which it looks very similar to a block style comment, but it starts with two asterisks. And notice when I did that, it changed the color of this comment from green to blue. It's also ignored by the compiler, but there's a tool called Java doc, which strips all these Java doc style comments out of your program. And it creates documentation for you called the Java API or application programming interface. And in a different video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use that tool with these type of comments, and I'll put the link in the description.